Welcome back guys, computer just became even stronger as the stockfish continues its rise in the chess world. So we gotta take a look at few positions here which were played between stockfish 16 and stockfish 17 development version. So this is the starting position for the first game and let me flip the board for you. So. Stockfish 17 is playing black pieces and in this position Stockfish 16 plays a3 Rook b8 trying to go b4 to set up some checkmate ideas on b file Bishop f4 is played kind of nonsense move but still you know basically you remove e5 hitting this knight on f6 and Stockfish 17 plays b4 attacking it again Counter-attacking the knight, so Stockfish 16 plays e takes f6 and Converse says it's a mistake. But why is it a mistake? Because b c6 and black are better. But Stockfish 16 is like, alright, I don't see any threats after f take g7, which is plunder. Because right now they don't take here, we take on b2, double prelimed. King b1 and we don't play rook g8, our queen is under attack and I think Stockfish 16 was like alright I'm threatening this to, to promote with the check and I'm threatening this queen, uh, let's say queen g2, g takes h8 and white are winning, but instead of it there is queen a3 and Stockfish 16 is like oh I'll take a queen, knight of 8 and it turns out there is no way to stop this checkmate and queen a5 I mean last chance queen a5 and stockfish 17 won let's jump into the second game and this is a starting position here you see the common game starts in this position seven games in the lead chess database e5 trying to stop maybe some greek sacrifice by the way this game is I mean when I saw this example, that was really nice. h4, trying to go for knight g5, f6, knight g5. Double brilliant. I mean, it's just insane, because we're threatening on the 6, and if f takes g6, bishop h7. Boom! King h7, h takes g5, king g8, rook h8. Now, we're not going for queen h5, because I assume there are some, yeah, just knight g5 and black are winning so instead rook h8 king h8 queen h5 king j g6 and now knight f5 doesn't work knight f6 just takes and then checkmate and white wins the game another game so again stockfish 17 plays with the black pieces castle f6 takes bishop h3 knight f5 so if knight e5, now queen b7, queen e6, f takes g7, bishop g2, and now again stockfish 16 underestimates black frats and plays g h8 queen which is a blunder because now queen h3, queen h7, knight h6, we block this. Because now let's say queen h7, king g2, knight e5, and still, you know, white are alive. But after knight h6, again, brilliant. There is no way to save this from checkmate. And again, black won. So, and let's jump into the last game. Again, game starts in this position. One game in the lead chess database. Stockfish 17 plays with white pieces. b4, bishop a7, bishop b2, queen a7, bishop b2, h5, h4. Bishop g4, rook c1, a5, b5, knight d8, c5. That's brilliant move, from my opinion. Because let's say now bishop c5, there is knight e5. Bishop e2. King 2 takes queen c5 and white are completely winning. So 
in this position they played bishop f3, c takes d6 first, attacking the queen. c takes d6, g takes f3. Taking this, two squares under control and restricting this knight. Knight to 6, f4. And the point is now, black, white are trying to open up this diagonal. E takes f6, knight f4 takes takes, this rook is under attack, d5, queen g5, castle, rook g1, king h7, bishop d3, king h6, it's a blunder in here, stockfish plays absolutely insane, rook c7. And now it is a brilliant move, because obviously knight c7 is not possible, because of queen f5. That's, I mean, I couldn't see it without the help of computer, because after this, bishop g7, king h7, bishop f5. And if uh, queen c7, there is queen of 6 takes, rook g6, king h7, rook g7, king h6, rook c7. And due to this absolutely insanely powerful bishops, white won the game. I mean, in this position, black, stockfish 16, resigned. And I mean, stockfish 17 is just insane. And it's very interesting to see what's going to happen in the next couple of years with this. Uh, but for now, I'll see you next videos. See you soon. <laughs> Bye-bye.